Yeah. Yeah. Stunts. Yeah. <laughs> I did it playing football. Oh, yeah. It's very boring. Yeah. Oh, well. Or soccer to you, obviously. <laughs> no, football. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Cool. <laughs> um, I did a movie where I wasn't a very good accent or at all uh, called For Queen and Country yeah. 31 years ago about football hooliganism. Yeah. So I was, ran with the boys from Deptford. <laughs> In Mill, in Mill, here we go, you know, all that. That's quite good. They still got the firm? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. it about. Yeah, we. I mean, it was like organized crime. We were like running from the old <laughs> bill and no drinking before fighting. And yeah. I had a good time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, do you still yeah, do you keep in touch when you come back to London now? With, with the yeah. lads? Yeah. <laughs> no, I haven't. I haven't. You know, in fact, my driver at that time's father ran Smithfield Market. Oh, cool. That, that still exists. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Anyway, I should probably get started. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, you brought it up. I know, it was my fault. Uh, but I'm going to begin by asking, I mean, you've never done a sequel before, so I just wonder, what was it about this character in this world which, which drew you back in? Good story, uh, good, good script. Stephen, uh, Stephen, Richard surprised me. First of all, it was the, the success of the first film said to all of us in the producing team that the audience wanted to see another one. The, the studio said that. The writer went off to write, and I said, you know, they said, would you? I said, I don't know. It's, when you write it, I'll read it. I read it, and I was like, oh, this is a little different. This is closer to the heart and, and father-son sort of relationship and without giving it all away and what happens to those closest to me and, and, and or to Robert. And uh, so I said yes. And over the course of your career, have you been offered many chances for sequels that just yeah. haven't felt right for you? Most of the time I die in the movies. <laughs> yeah. That's a good point. Yeah. <laughs> but I mean, if you had to choose one character that, that, you would, that, that you've played across the course of your career that you would most love to go back and revisit, and just, just to have one more go at sort of playing, I mean, even if they did die, for example, who, who would you say that is, is the one that stands out? I don't know. I mean, I like the character in Safe House, yeah. uh, but uh, I don't know. And I was, uh, I was watching this movie and realised in some ways The Equalizer, is, is this, it's like a superhero movie, isn't it? In some ways, he feels That's like a superhero. That's what people are saying. I, I, yeah. I, I didn't, I, maybe because we're post-Black Panther or something? I don't, nobody said that after the first one. I think it's where he keeps Well, he this, says it, yeah. the boy says What does he say, superhero? Or the girl asks him if he has superpowers? Or if yeah. Can, yeah, so maybe it's coming from that. Yeah, because I was, I, was, I was wondering if you've if you ever been approached to be in a superhero movie before as well in your career? Not that I know of, no. Mm. <laughs> Why is that? Well, shit, that would have been quite good. But because uh, I mean, your character does go around kind of helping people. He's kind of a, he's an incredible kind of person. He's got such a great heart. And I'm just wondering, uh, when was the last? was the last time you felt someone did something really nice for you? All the time. Yeah. This morning. What happened? They brought my clothes on time. <laughs> no, they didn't. They were late. <laughs> and no, like and you know, and the thing like like with this character, sometimes you don't know. You know, maybe I wasn't there. You never know what folks have done you know yeah. you know even like I've learned over the years of getting a little older now you never know who you touch you know so sh it's better to share a kind word an encouraging word and and because uh, you never know who you touch and I love it obviously he's driving a cab at the start and he's mm -hmm. a character that seems fascinated by people mm -hmm. and it's got me thinking I mean your job in many ways is to observe you know as an actor you're, you're observing the world around you and then you're bringing those sensibilities and foibles and traits you see in people and putting them into your characters. I mean, now you're, you're so ridiculously famous. Is it harder now to observe humanity when I guess in some ways people are different around you yeah. than they would have used to be because you're so, because yeah, you're Denzel Washington. Washington. It, it, there's a bit of that and, and you, well, you learn ways to get around that. You know, I do a lot of sitting around in cars <laughs> looking at folks. But uh, yeah, that, that, that's true. I mean, you, you, you want to observe behavior. Now your behavior is being observed. observed. You know, so it is tricky. And, but usually, well, a lot of films I've done, even even with the experts I'm working with or whoever, first day or so, oh, he's a movie star. And by the third day, everybody's like, yeah, yeah, whatever. <laughs> you know, so you, you start getting down to, to the work. Because, uh, I mean, obviously, I mean, the trust between yourself and Antoine must be so strong now. You've collaborated on, on numerous occasions. You must have developed such a great shorthand that makes for such a comfortable, relaxing set in some ways. Because you just know, you know what is expected of you, and he knows what's expected. It, it, I guess it just means, it must um, make for such a nice kind of atmosphere, I suppose, when you're making I, I, so I, That's why we continue to work together, you know. We get along. Shoot, I won an Oscar with him, yeah. you know. And, and we've done different kind of movies, and, and I like him. He likes me, and he leaves me alone. I leave him alone, and, 
<laughs> and uh, just finally, I mean, uh, your uncle. They still say that. <laughs> we still say that. Yeah, right. <laughs> um, I saw a Black Handsman the other day, and I mean, your son is is just exceptional in the lead role. I mean, you must be so proud of, of him at the moment. Because, uh, proud Papa, come on now, your son. Yeah. You got are you you got your dad. Yeah, yeah. So you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Can your boy play? Can he play football? Oh no! no. Oh, so I thought I said that. I'm not an actually. Oh, you're not. Oh no, no, no! no. I thought you said if I got a dad. I was like, yeah. He's, but uh, no, I haven't got. I haven't got a son yet. Oh, okay. No. What yeah. are you waiting for? What's wrong with you? Just, <laughs> I've only been married three months. Oh, you just got married. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You, you practicing? <laughs> not anymore. I'm not. <laughs> oh, 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 man! Good luck when you get home. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> this will be the last interview he'll ever be doing. So. No. <laughs> yeah, no, did you, but yeah, I mean, you, I'm assuming you've just seen the movie and obviously he's a bit of a spike. I mean, you must, yeah, it must just be so great for you to, to see him out there doing his thing and crafting it's a whole amazing. career. It's amazing. I mean, ooh, he had it in him. He have always, I didn't know he always wanted to be an actor, I, but I knew he had great talent. He, he was very talented, very talented football player, very talented and American football player. But I'm, I'm glad that, I'm glad for him and, I'm, and, and, and the missus is, you know, mom. She's, she's protecting her baby now. You can't get near him. Mm -mm. Well, thanks so much for your time today. Real pleasure. My, Cheers. My pleasure. Cheers. I'm interviewing Cheers. him next week, actually. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 that's right. <laughs>